So this number, one, two, three, four, as I, on my process of deciphering these numbers and um, understanding it on my own journey, um, we as a collective are all connected and no lesson on earth hasn't been at least felt by at least uh, if not all of us you know what i'm saying because we're all connected right so this one two three four so what comes to mind when you think about one two three four right that's like counting that's like learning how to count right you start from one you go to two and three as if you were taking baby steps right Anytime I see this number, it is baby steps. You may have just started something completely new and out of your element where it's required you to have a lot of leadership. It's required you to gain certain uh, skills that help you work with others. It's had you uh, uh, learn how to balance both your work and uh, work home and play it's helped you to try to figure out what foundations you need to uh, you know uh, 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 create steady progress so that's and it's really fitting with the four at the end because four is steady progress one two three four so when you add this number what do you get ten right and I've said over and over again, what does the number one usually go stand for? Leadership. In numerology, the number one is a leadership quality. They're the type of people that are, they are about num being number one. They are very much, uh, you know, uh, the lone sharks here out of the group, the, the life path number ones. But the number two, see, three and four, two is supportive, three is creative. Four is stability. You understand? So um, when you look at this number, this is you have already has started something that literally is creating com a complete new beginning for, me, for you, right? Because when you add it, it comes to 10, right? And in numerology, when you um, reduce the numbers, if they're not a, like uh, a master number, you reduce the number, it becomes a number one again. So leadership, assertiveness, creativity, manifestation. You may be seeing one, one, one. You may be seeing two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. This is all just signs of your uh of your of your third eye opening, as well as your psychic gifts enhancing. You know, but um the number one, two, three, four is like steady progress. Start after starting something new. Or just steady progress and whatever it is you've been working on for a very, very long time. Because we have this, the Eight of Wands here. Or Nine of Wands here. Sorry. So, you know, we've been working hard on this here. So, as um we get into it, right, we have a celebration so you are going to be you are going to be celebrated and you're going to be celebrating for all of the hard work that you put into it's creating a, a financial stability for you for all the good karma that you have put out into the universe all those who have helped is going to be coming right back to you after all this hard work that you put into everything that you've done you'll be receiving that which is owed to you stability right also, we have here leadership, right? Take charge of your situation. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. That's just a reminder of what is needed in this leadership role or whatever it is. Like, I feel like it's entrepreneurial in nature. Or it could just be starting a whole new career that you never, you know, you wasn't doing before. Something different, you know? And look at here. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectation and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep faith and keep going. Exactly. And this lion is out here. You may be a Leo or just have a, a, a affinity for uh, felines, cats, 
Um, you may even work with some, uh, what came to mind is Beset or Shekmet. Um, <clears throat> right? You may work with those, with those two deities. Um, you also, some of you may work with the angelic realms, most definitely. Um, with the lamb here, definitely may have a connection with Christ consciousness. Because, you know, Jesus Christ was the lamb, right? Um, but yeah, so, uh, as I've said, you know, you guys, you gonna have, you have a whole reason to celebrate your ships is going to be coming in, you know, you're going to be having better relationships. You may even be having children one day. Um, also <clears throat> your material needs is going to be taken care of, as I said before, and a new opportunity with the ace of wands here. New opportunities is going to be presenting itself to you. A gift, a passion, an opportunity, an inspiration, a chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. Exactly. Also, you may be seeing hawks. And a, a lot of the mountains and different uh, trials and tribulations you may have went through are definitely in the past. And you'll be seeing brighter days ahead. You've overcome all of those mountains and behind you. They're behind you. Right? You also may have went through a lot when it came down to... Oh, yeah, we also have these cards here that I have yet to talk about. Um, These cards. So, some of you who may be experiencing this number may have uh, experienced maybe a loss in their family. Because we have the journey, the message of concern, the expectation, bad health, and then the death. Uh, the death. Uh, the coffin. <clears throat> which is... Could literally mean something being put to rest. So I am like, um, honestly, when I, when I, 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 this, this is really deep right here. Some of you may have experienced either a loss in your family or someone who may have been close to you, a friend, a lover, a coworker, or someone that was very much important to you may have, you may have to have to go and travel, um, uh, because you may have heard this situation, maybe through a message. Obviously, you I, while, while she's looking at this light, I'm thinking maybe you saw a post or you saw something on social media or someone contacted you directly. Um, but it's something you must have read or it could have been easy someone calling you. But it was it's something about expectations. So something you already knew about this situation with this bad health. It was like something was already happening with this person's health that was already alerted to whoever this was. So, you know, it was it wasn't looking good. And with this bad health, this makes me feel like somebody that was in, in uh um, in intensive care or critical condition, and it may have led to some may, some death or something. This may have happened on the tenth, fourteenth, or twenty eighth, or the thirty first, or the nineteenth of certain of a certain month. Um, <clears throat> it could have been some. It could have been uh, maybe this month. Or it could have been any other month. But if you, whenever you were seeing this number, because I know when I was seeing it, I had deaths happening in my family. And the 28th is one of those. So that's kind of crazy. So if you, you may have, this is for someone specific. This is not for everyone who may have, you know, experienced this number. But I'm just giving a bunch of messages that's coming to me. But uh, specifically, I was told to uh, pull extra cards for people who've experienced a death or a someone in their family being um, having very bad health issues. And it's looking like it's not looking good, you know, and had you travel from where you live to where they may be to be around the family or whatever. But, um, so spirit, so the angels are saying here, um, distractions. It says control your thoughts and actions to help stay focused. So this situation has really put you off of your footing here. We also have the surrender your battle. So with this situation that may have happened where it was painful, you know, the angels are advising you to please lay your your battles and your your uh, thoughts to them because they will help you. Also, we all have Archangel Raphael for he is the patron and <clears throat> and the angel of you know um, healing. 
So he also can help us heal. He said, Raphael helps you heal in mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. So you may be working more with Archangel Raphael, or this is a sign that you should work with him with this healing from this passing. I know exactly what it's like to lose a family member. I have lost multiple throughout this process, and it's been very, very hard. And I'm so, so sorry you had to go through this. And I'm, I'm keeping you in my prayers, and I'm praying that the angels, God, and whoever you may believe is a higher power keep you and um uh uh and it just protects you on your on your journey um yeah i'm so sorry to hear about this guys but the angels are with you healing through this time they're helping you heal okay um that was for someone specific okay but, um, yeah, this is really talking about practicing. So, um, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, taking each step, learning the process to get to where you need to go. So, um, to get to that, that foundation, we also have successful funding. So somebody may be looking to what they building up a business or looking for startup money or some type of money to fund whatever it is they're doing. Um, it says here, your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. Exactly. They want you to think outside the box. They don't want you to think like just because it's, 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 it may be hard to obtain. It's not attainable. It is obtainable. And if you believe so with this positive thoughts and positive optimism, you will, you will, you will instantly, if not, if you, if not just right away, start to attract those positive experiences that you're trying to create, uh, moving forward with this foundation, this two, this one, two, three, and four as well. And this new beginning. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. This is for angel number one, two, three, four. Let me know if it resonates in the comment section below. I hope it does, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.